Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video with me, International Multi Award winning portrait photographer Jessica McGovern. Welcome if you're new here, welcome back if you're not. If you are new, consider hitting the subscribe button because it really does help me out. These videos are used to basically explain a tip, topic or technique that will enhance your photography work within five minutes. So without further ado, we've got to move a subject in an image in Photoshop. Let's get stuck in. So on the screen, we've got a picture of little guests in Paris. This photograph was shot by Ayesia. I will add the links to her and everything about her in the description below. If you're brand new to Photoshop, this might be a little bit too scary for you. I'll pop a video about Photoshop basics above. If uh, even that is a little bit too advanced for you and what we're going to discuss is quite quick, then have a look at the Photoshop for Beginners online course. I'll also link that above. So first thing we're going to do is we're in Photoshop with the image we're going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer by doing a command J. There are loads of keyboard shortcuts. They're also in a YouTube video. So I'll go ahead and link that above too. With our background layer duplicated, we're going to duplicate it again one more time. So on the bottom copy, we're going to call this one the background because this is the new background. And on this top one, we're going to call this the subject. When it comes to this actual background layer with the padlock on it, we're just keeping that for safekeeping. We don't actually need it. So don't worry about it too much. On this subject one, we don't need this one yet. We're going to turn it off and we're going to look at just the background. The first step in moving a subject is to heal the area where they existed in the first place. So we're going to go ahead and do a select and a subject to grab the subject. Then we're going to do a select, modify and expand. And we're going to go in by about 50 pixels. You can change this as required. So the aim of this basically is to have a little gap around the edge that the dog or the subject in whatever case you're working in does not pass through that line okay so we've got a gap then what we need to do is heal the subject out of this image completely so lots of different ways of doing this with a content aware fill we've got videos on how to remove stuff but i'm going to just go with a shift backspace enter for this content aware fill technique and see how well Photoshop did. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I can work with it. So when you've done that, you want to clean up the area. I'm going to use the healing brush tool. If you're brand new to that, you don't know what it is. There's a video about that released the other week. So go ahead and have a look at that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so we should be left with an empty scene now. We've got no subject in at all. So we're going to turn on the subject layer, grab hold of that layer, then go and do another select and subject. Only this time we're actually going to mask it. Now there's whole videos on the YouTube channel. I think there's two that cover off masking hair. So have a look at them if you need to. I'll link the most recent one above, but we just want to go into select, select a mask, and then follow our normal masking procedure. So no change over the normal masking procedure. I'm just going to do a messy mask because I'm pretty sure this is going to mask out pretty well. This is like the messiest mask I think I've ever done. There we go. Output it to a layer mask. Really important. So we're going to output that to a layer mask. And then now just by magic, we can move guess around. So then all that's left to do is to line him up with where we want him to be. And you want to make sure that you've got a good line happening here. All right. And then I'm going to go on the mask, grab a brush and at about 30% opacity, I'm going to use white and just blend the bottom of him in with the steps that he is on. So just give a little bit of a blend and you can also go up the edge of the coat if the background is the same to just give a little bit more depth back to the coat. A little bit more to the top of his head. 
he's looking adorable and that is that so we've gone from here to here all nice and fixed subjects moved in the image nobody would ever know and that is that job done that's how to move a subject in photoshop within an image hopefully that was useful for you if it was please do let me know down in the comments give this video a like thumbs up if it was actually helpful for you because that would be great and hopefully i'll see you back next friday for another 